Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are doing another video where we're gonna get ready for a Valentine's Day. I am in a towel as you can see. Don't be weird. We're just gonna do our skincare and then I'm gonna lotion. I want to show you guys my favorite toner. This is the Lancome Hydrating Toner that is for dry skin and I absolutely love it. It's not like a toner that burns. It leaves my skin feeling really, really nice afterwards. I don't feel like it's stripped and it smells like baby powder. I just came back from the gym. We had a couple's a Valentine's workout. I don't know why, but I, I cringe so hard when certain couples are just so extra at the gym. Like, they have to prove that they're dating each other. Maybe they're not feeling confident in the gym. But, like, I just want to tell them, like, you know, it's okay. Like, we don't care. Not in a mean way. Like, I'm just trying to make them feel more confident. Like, you don't have to hide, girl. You don't have to be kissing up every two seconds. Just get your workout in. And get out. Then I'm gonna go in with my glow watermelon glow recipe niacinamide dew drops. These I actually really like. These make my skin look so glowy and stunning. I'm obsessed. A little really goes a long way because this stuff is hydrating and it smells like watermelon. I like this, I think, better than the serum and better than the moisturizer just because the glow is what I love and if you know me you know that already what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day please let me know I would love to know what you're doing some people don't like celebrating on the day because it's so busy and honestly I was gonna stay in because I was not trying to do all of that but we've never been to a Brazilian steakhouse well I've never been sorry I think Mike has but we've never been together out of our four years of dating so and we're foodies like what but I think it's because we like our favorite restaurants, so I'm really excited to try this steakhouse. And this is the Sephora brand hydrating serum. And actually, fun fact, I don't know if I should be saying this, but a girl that works there told me that actually a lot of their labs are similar to other brand name labs. And they actually don't tell you that just, you know, because they have a lower price point, but they are all relatively the same. So this serum, I don't know why, but it is so nice and has like a really nice bouncy consistency and I really, really like it. So I just thought if you guys are in a pinch and you want something high-end but not as expensive as Tatcha or all those other really expensive brands, then I would definitely go for the Sephora brand. This feels so, so nice on the skin. And with the dew drops, I just figured the more hydration, the better. I didn't give the e.l.f. luminous putty primer a good shot on its own because i ended up layering my entire face with the power grip primer instead because it was so nice so we're gonna give this one a real shot on its own mixed with all my other skincare products and i just love that lumi-ness to it let's talk valentine's day i love valentine's day i think if you love love which i just love love I like the cheesiness. I like the corniness. I think most females do, but like they're not going to show it or they don't want to say it or their man doesn't do it. So then they are like, no, I don't care for it. But like, it's okay to say you like it. Like, I'm not ashamed to say I love flowers. I love petties and I, I love that stuff. And if my man knows that and wants to get that for me, then I'm appreciative of it. I'm not really big on like expensive, extreme extraordinary like out of this world big gifts i think of the little things even if it was just a card like those are the things i personally personally like so don't feel ashamed to say that you like that stuff too i don't know so if you saw my video if i posted it already the she glam stuff is so good i'm gonna underpaint with it do you think that that's actually a lot because i did put on a lot yesterday as well and i was like ooh, i didn't even need that much but it is such a beautiful color i'm so happy with it that's another thing if you're on a budget go get this stuff because it is cheap and actually stunning and i also just kind of wanted to talk about certain things in a relationship that people don't talk about so michael and i have been together for coming up four years this year, which is crazy to think about. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that like we're that cheesy type. These are romantic. We're both the Cancer Zodiac sign. We have similar love languages, and I think that's why it really works. And it's okay if you don't with your partner. Like I'm not gonna say go find someone who has the exact same love languages as you. I just think it does help our relationship grow. I just wanted to kind of give my little rundown of my experience and advice on like what keeps our spark going and i think too sometimes is that you just kind of have to ask for what you want and i see this a lot online or it's like if he wanted to he would not always though i feel like you sometimes do have to ask for things and i also think another thing that's underrated and not talked about but like if you need to talk about something with your partner and you're having trouble or you're not the type of person to really express yourself maybe in that way then like don't be ashamed to seek therapy or something that you both can 
communicate better with like if you're not good communicators you don't just go for like a fight or something but if you're just having trouble with communicating i think having a third person that's neutral is really beneficial to anybody's relationship you guys ready for this highlight i don't think so but i have to blend it quickly i realized with the she glam highlighter is that it's actually supposed to dry down i think as a powder which is why i was having some issues yesterday because i swatched it on my hand and then I went to go shower and then it kind of dried down but it wasn't coming off like a powder like it literally dried down as a powder it was crazy so I learned my lesson this time then I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum this dropper is absolutely garbage product is good so that's all that matters I've had another relationship for four years before Michael believe it or not I really learned a lot from that and with that being said like at four years with my ex it was pretty rough at this point like I feel like I had already broken up with him in my head mentally just because that's just how I felt like I felt like I tried to express the way I was feeling and it wasn't going anywhere I also think the way I was expressing how I was feeling wasn't helping either or getting me anywhere so like it wasn't just his fault it was my fault just as much I was also four years younger I'm only 23 this year now and where I am now with in four years with Mike I feel like it's seamless it's easy we're able to talk to each other and like I said in all my other videos is that I started seeking therapy and that really changed the game for me last year honestly it changed my life I've never felt happier since then I've never felt more understanding of myself which plays a big role when you're in a relationship because if you don't really know the way you are as a human being and you're not aware of that and that's coming from someone who thought they're really self-aware that took a lot of learning also i've been meaning to get a powder puff for these areas to really try and do the new trend underneath the eyes but this little brush from sephora is pretty good in my opinion i like it for under the eyes it keeps it pretty seamless find this serum this tinted serum was pretty tinted because my or my neck is just like extremely white maybe this sounds like i don't know your relationship obviously but like if he's not doing it why can't you do it like i don't mean that in a mean way i'm just curious like if he's not booking you guys to go somewhere you should book it and then let him book the next one like you should take turns if maybe he's feeling like you're not trying as hard in your relationship and that i've also learned about myself is like i was like oh my last relationship i felt like i was the only one doing anything with mike i kind of let him take the stand with things but also learned that i still miss doing things for him too and i think girls should do that more often because at the end of the day your man's gonna do so much but where does he feel love i don't know i feel like we used to take turns booking hotel rooms another big thing that my me and my girlfriend always talk about is like girls are always focused on oh your boyfriend does that for you but like they never acknowledge what the female does in the relationship and I feel like it's my point don't just look at what he's doing like we do a lot for our men like, this is the Too Faced palette I've shown this to you guys before in my last I think Valentine's Day get ready with me because colors in here how could you not since you're here some little insight on what you think makes our relationship some advice that you could give I love coaching the want to do things for each other mm, I like that the want when you're in a no. relationship for a long time people kind of like they stop trying I think they feel like They've been in a relationship so long. It's not that they don't care. It's just that they've been in a relationship for so long with somebody. They think they're just always going to love them and always... Yeah, they're always going to still love each other even if they don't do things for each other anymore. Absolutely, but it doesn't work that way usually. I think you should still show each other love and the intimacy and go on dates when you can. Mm -hmm. Little things, like, you know, little things for your partner, you know? Mm. Buying something that you know they like at the store even though they didn't ask for it. Like, you know what I mean? Good advice. It goes a long way. Ladies, show this to your man. This is a man's perspective. Yeah, and I think another good point is like go into the conversation with your partner the way you want it to end. Like you love your partner, obviously you don't want to fight with them. So like watch your words, watch the things you say, be very mindful of your tone of voice. You need to say what you need to say. You need to you can't hold anything back. You should never hold anything back. Because that's your partner, that's your love. You should be telling them the truth and being honest with them. Yeah, tell them how you feel, but also like be mindful of how you're saying it too. Correct. Yes. Just because you're in an argument. I told them too, like if that means like not every couple, like we've been pretty good at not really needing help elsewhere but if you do like that's okay like i know my girlfriend struggles with communication and a lot of people do they're not able to talk to their partner for whatever reason or it's hard for them or what they're trying to say isn't coming out very nicely or very good i think that that's important to work on that for yourself and for any relationship honestly i think feel like even friendships you need to have good communication good communication with everybody yeah even your family members your parents and stuff. everybody 
Easier said than done though. Easier said than done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our TED talk and that was boring. Like I said, we don't know everything. We're still babies, but I think when you're willing to learn, you can be wiser young. You don't have to learn this when you're 50 years old. You can learn this really young. So as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so this is the outfit that we're wearing. Super casual, super chill. Four years. Who are we trying to impress? No, I'm just joking. It's always nice to get ready. I love doing that. So wearing this. This is from Dynamite. It's like an off-the-shoulder cute little sweater with my mom boyfriend jeans. And I'm just going to wear some sneakers. Okay, you guys. Just, I thought I was going to be able to close this video outside in the car on the way there. But as you can see, we live in Canada. And it gets dark at 5 o'clock, so... But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Hang out with me in the next one. I love you. Okay, bye.